lights all the way through. So we're gonna head up the canyon here about five miles and then we're gonna go to a nice spot where the water is nice and rough. Great for Euro nymphing. Fish can't see us, you'll see it soon. All right, weather condition report. 97 degrees, it is 137, July 12th, 2020. We're gonna be fishing Provo Canyon near Bridalville Falls. We shouldn't see anybody on tubes, just maybe some fishermen in the river. I can fish until the baby wakes up and then it's over. So let's pray that he doesn't wake up soon. Let's see, let me show you what we tied on here. So on my point fly, my heavier fly, I have a bead headed pheasant tail. This is just gonna this is just standard pheasant tail pattern. Tied this one up. And then on my fly above it, I have a orange hotspot with some green dubbing. Oh, there's a fish. Fish on. First fish of the day. Oh, I lost pressure. He's gone. Fish on, baby, fish on. There it is. That's a good one. My line tight. I'm gonna turn his head back this way. I'm gonna cross the river. Okay, let's see what he took. Did he take the hot spot or the not hot spot? I think he took the hot spot based on what I saw just there. Into the shallows, get the net ready, get him over here. Oh no, no, no! He took the traditional pheasant tail. Alright, fish number one. And he took, let's verify this real fast. He took the brown, all brown pheasant tail, no hot spot. He also just that hooked me. Take out that hook. It's a barbless hook, should come right out. Same in the back of the fin, comes right out. Thank you very much, Mr. Fish. Appreciate your number one, and you're off. And he's gone. Okay, that's fish number one. We've increased the depth of our point fly just a little for this section. Sometimes it's worth spending a few minutes to get your flies in front of the fish. Oh, I saw him hit it. I saw him hit it. Okay, we'll give it five more. Five more pretty cast. One. Two. Three, four, and go here. Oh, fish on, baby, fish on. There's one. Let's see, I'm guessing that he took the main deep pheasant tail because that's the one he can see. We'll find out. No, yeah, he picked that normal pheasant tail. So, 
front of me, get his head up, get him fast. Come on up, baby, come on up. There we go. And the net, oh, he's out of the net. And he's running. Oh, he's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Fish number two. That's on the deep end. Brady Brown. Beautiful brown trout. Getting back in the water real fast. He's off. The thing to note is most of these fish, the first cast into that spot. So if I move quicker, I should be able to get more hits. So if you only have one hour to fish, are you going to fix your line, or are you going to fish and fix your line later when you get home? I know what the answer is. The answer is fish, baby. Fish while you can. I love doing this. Alright, we're going to give this one... We'll give it 20 more casts, and then we're going to switch the point out to the hotspot one. See how that one does. Fish on, fish on. That looks like a decent fish. Oh, look at that. He took he, oh, he took the hot spot fly all the way to the top. That is something else right there. Yep, that's the one he took. You can see it right there. Took the hot spot fly. This fly is quite a bit further up. Three little fish. And he's off. That's number three. Two on the normal pheasant tail, one on the hot spot pheasant tail, both beat headed. Alright, I like this spot up here. Oh! I hope I saw that you can see it on the camera, that fish jumped for it. That was amazing. Beautiful pick. He took, again, he took the hot spot caddis, which is not. It was easy for him to see. Look at that. What an amazing take on the hot spot. Caddis. There it is. Took the one with, not caddis. Took the, uh, fly, the pheasant tail with the hot spot. Alright, so now that we've had two on the hot spot above the point, we're going to switch this out to a hot spot pheasant tail. Right now we're doing green. No, we're doing no, we're doing green. We're gonna go with the brown and try out both patterns. That was a beautiful take. Alright, I'm gonna try fly never done. I made this, this is a variation of a pheasant tail. I've got copper thread. It's got the legs, it's got the peacock, it's got the hot spot though. And I've never this is just something different. We'll see how it goes. They've been hitting the orange hot spot on the top. I'm going to switch out the standard pheasant tail with a hot spot version on the bottom. Should look pretty similar to my other fly though. Let's give this a go. We are on, I think that was number five. And let's see how this new fly does. Surprising that I've been getting hits on that. Oh, fish on first cast, and he took that new fly. Oh, he's a nicer fish. He took that new fly right out the gate. Here we go, get him right in front of me, and we're gonna bring him up. And bring him up, bring him up, bring him up, into the net, into the net. Oh, he missed the net. Into the net, oh, look at that. Beautiful brown, beautiful fish. And he took that new fly that I just put on. A first, first cast through, he liked it. I'm gonna take this off of him. And then we will let him go. And you need to get out of the water. Wow. Beautiful fish. On a... We're not going to try and... We're... The thing we're going to turn is... Actually, he's not that big. I must have foul hooked him. I took the bottom one with the legs. I seem to like the legs. Right behind me. Alright, fish in. There he is. Beautiful. And he's off. Didn't think I'd see anybody come down here with locations. 
typically not your space. Oh, they're gonna go for it. They are gonna go for it. These guys are ballers. Yeah. Oh. Tom Sawyer style, I guess. Let's see what happens. River Wild, you guys! Oh yeah, you guys are awesome! I thought you... No, they'll, they'll come back, they'll come back. Look at these guys. Well, I see something new every day. Never seen that before.